What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily, and this video is my long overdue review of the new 4th generation Apple TV. With Siri integration, a completely revamped TV OS, and a brand new remote, is it worth the money? Let's take a look. So the first thing I want to talk about is the hardware, and this is where a majority of things have stayed the same from the last generation. You get the actual Apple TV box and the new remote, and the Apple TV itself remains relatively unchanged. It's still the sleek black box from the last generation, although quite a bit thicker to hold all the new internals, but everything looks very familiar. On the back you have ports for the power, HDMI, and Ethernet, and a USB-C port that's used for service and diagnostics. On the inside you get Apple's A8 processor, 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, and either 32 or 64 gigabytes of storage. Where we see the biggest change with the new Apple TV is the remote. It's been completely redesigned with an all-aluminum finish and a glass front where you'll find all the usual buttons along with one new one, Siri. Siri integration on the new Apple TV is one of the main new features that I'll talk about in a minute, but you interact with Siri right through the remote by pressing the Siri button and speaking into the microphones on either side of the remote. The entire top half of the remote is now a glass touchpad instead of the button wheel, and this is how you interact and scroll through the Apple TV, which is actually a really nice change. The remote also has an accelerometer and gyroscope built in, which you can use as a game controller for apps from the App Store, which I'll touch on as well. The remote now charges via lightning port on the bottom and will last a number of months without a charge, which makes a lot more sense than using batteries. So with all that talk about hardware out of the way, let's talk about the biggest change to the new Apple TV. TV OS. The entire user interface for the Apple TV has been completely redesigned, and in my opinion, for the better. It's really easy to scroll through all of your apps and games, and browsing the App Store for new apps and installing them is easy as well. The App Store itself is very impressive for the Apple TV, but what Apple is pushing most is gaming. Gaming on the Apple TV is an interesting experience. A lot of your favorite games for the iPhone and iPad have been ported over for the Apple TV, and some apps are even being made specifically for the Apple TV. The games look really amazing overall, and they have a lot of depth and detail, and some even rival some console games with their quality. Is the Apple TV going to replace your Xbox One? Definitely not, but for a casual gamer or kids, the Apple TV offers a wide variety of games that play well and look great. I should note that using the Apple TV remote as the controller is a little awkward at first, but there are a number of third-party gaming controllers that you can try out that work even better. All in all, the potential is definitely there for developers to make some awesome games, and I'm excited to see what gets released in the future. Obviously, the thing you'll be using your Apple TV most for is streaming media. You get plenty of streaming options including Netflix, Hulu, HBO, iTunes, and more. The Apple TV supports up to 1080p video, no 4K which is definitely disappointing, but everything you can ask for in a streaming device is here. Like I mentioned earlier, Siri integration is a big part of the new Apple TV. With Siri, you can ask her to pull up specific movies and TV shows, display movies featuring specific actors, play music from different services, and ask her other things like the weather and stocks. Siri is okay on the Apple TV, it works well, but it's not something I personally use every single time I use my Apple TV. The new Apple TV is a welcome upgrade. The redesigned remote is a great change, tvOS looks and feels awesome, and the App Store integration and gaming potential is definitely a big plus. Now the bottom line with the Apple TV is this. If you own the previous generation Apple TV, I wouldn't necessarily call this an essential upgrade. If you use it to stream Netflix or iTunes, it's not really going to make a big difference. If you're enticed by the gaming and apps, however, I think you'll really be impressed. And if you're already a part of Apple's ecosystem, the Apple TV is obviously the perfect option to go with everything else you have. However, if you're looking for something a bit more powerful, there are some great alternatives like the Nvidia Shield that not only support 4K, but also have an even broader spectrum of gaming potential. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Definitely let me know what you think of the new Apple TV in the comments below. Also, be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.